Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for my videos. For today, I am here with my November beauty favorites. The majority of them, of course, are beauty related, but I have one awesome product that is not beauty related that I'm absolutely in love with. And of course, I'm also gonna share with you guys my BoxyCharm and Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of November, so we better get started. So my first favorite is from the brand La Mer, and this is the cleansing gel. I used to use this gel back in the day. I think I've maybe gone to, through two or three in my whole lifetime, but I used to love this gel. I just pretty much stopped using it just because it was so expensive. And I mean, I think before I even got on YouTube was when I used these, but then I got a sample of it and it just was so good. I loved using it on my Clarisonic and it just smells so, so good. The packaging has changed. It is a lot, is a lot nicer than it used to be, but it's still a really great gel. So after I finished up the cleanser, I was debating whether I should buy it during the Sephora sale, and I ended up buying it, but I'm definitely loving this cleanser, and I'm gonna use it up till the last drop, but it's just such a good cleanser, and it smells so good. From Bosha, I'm really enjoying this Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I have had a love-hate relationship with this oil because I've had it once and I think at first when I bought it, I loved it and then I hated it. I don't know what happened, but I think it was the fact that I was not using it the right way. But since I have been using oils so much already for the past few years, I pretty much used it as I use all my other oils and it worked wonders. I love it. I'm very sensitive to anything on my skin that's for cooling. You know, so any product usually, if it says it has a cool effect to it, it probably has a little bit of menthol in it and that I'm very sensitive to my skin because it stays on your face. So if it stays on my face, I probably couldn't use it. But the fact that this is an oil that you first apply and then you rinse it actually works for me and it doesn't cause any effects, you know, any bad effects on me. I remember one time I bought an eye cream that had like a cooling gel in it or something and it was horrible. I even got a headache. I can use cooling items. I mean, I love anything menthol, eucalyptus on my body and even like a lip balm. But on my face, I really try to stay away from any products that say the word cooling in it. But this one I have really been enjoying and I have really been using it a lot. It removes the makeup off really nicely and then it just smells so good. And then it rinses off really clean and just really been enjoying it. So I give it another shot and I'm really glad I did because it's a favorite of mine this month. From the brand Sigma, I'm really enjoying some new makeup brushes. The very first one is the Sigma 4D HD Kabuki. It is the one that looks like this. It is a very strange brush. It kind of looks like a triangle and I'm sorry that this one is dirty, but it's a really great brush for applying your concealer because you can really get in there and blend out your concealer. So that's pretty much what I have been using it for and I have really been enjoying it. And then the other brush is also from Sigma. It's a 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. And again, it has another really weird shape. This is what that brush looks like. So it's kind of like this. I can't even explain it. You know, it has like a, a flat area, then like a pointy area and then like another flat area, but it's great. This is one I have been using for my foundation. I like it just because it is so big. Honestly, I don't know if the shape helps or doesn't help, but I like it because you can kind of put it on flat in your face when you're blending out your foundation. It's also good for buffing it if you do it like straight on into the middle, but it is just a really good brush for your foundation. So these are two new additions to my brush family that I have really been enjoying. Although I do have to say, this one is really good for concealer. I thought it was really cool. It's pointy, but I still think that the best concealer brush that Sigma makes, and I remember, you know, this is something that was going on for a while back, but it's really, really good. I remember, I think it was like Makeup by Tiffany D that started this. It is the Tapered Kabuki, the F86. This is the one that like originally everybody started buying for concealer, and this one also is the best, and it still works, and I still use it. This is probably like my all-time favorite way to blend in my concealer, but I just thought this brush was so unique and it really does work of how pointed it is and it just gets really close to the lower lash line. So love Sigma brushes. From Fresh, I decided to try a new eye cream and this is the Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream. And this is a really great eye cream. I've also been using it under makeup 
this is what it looks like on the inside. I always like to show the inside of it because you can see the consistency. I wanted to get another cream because the one I have is a Creme Ancien and that is by far my favorite eye cream ever. As you can see, the consistency is completely different. Let me show you both. See, this is a Creme Ancien. It is more like a harder type of cream. And this one, if I did that, my finger would just go through the cream all the way to the bottom. But this one is my favorite eye cream, the Creme Ancien, but it is a pricey eye cream. And it's the one that I use every day, so I feel like it goes by fast. But it's like a $115 eye cream. Um, and I just kind of wanted to have another one so that I try to use, you know, the Creme Ancien a little bit less and just kind of like, you know, change between one or the other so i decided to get this one and i really like it it's really moisturizing it's great under you know the concealer it helps you blend the concealer so that you look flawless during the day you can also use it at night but if i usually use an eye cream at night time i'll use the creme and cn i guess i guess you can say the youth preserve one i'm using a little bit more now for the day and the creme and cn at night but i still like if i were to go out at night and i wanted to do like a flawless makeup look for my concealer, I'll use the Creme Ancien one just because it leaves your skin super flawless. But now I'm just kind of alternating it with a youth preserve with a youth preserve cream, and I'm really loving this eye cream as well. So it's another good option, and it's a lot less expensive. I think it was like under fifty dollars, like in the forties, maybe forty eight dollars. I can't remember right now, but I know that it was a lot less expensive than other eye creams from the brand Fresh, but it's very, very good. So I have been using a lot of my new products from the haul, and I really didn't want to mention any of them in my November favorites, even though I'm falling in love with a lot of those products, but I just really wanted to test them out a lot more. So you'll probably be seeing some of those in my December favorites because I found a lot of great goodies, but there is one that I am gonna mention that is amazing. That the very first time I tried it, I was like, wow. And it's the one that I have been using. It is a product that I have been using ever since I filmed that video. And it is a very pricey product, but I definitely took advantage of the 20% sale. It is by Tom Ford, and this is the ultimate bronzer in the shade Gold Dust. This is a very pricey bronzer but I had my eye on it for such a long time and then when the sale came up, I thought I would just take advantage and get it. But it is the most beautiful, flawless bronzer that I have ever used. It honestly, I feel like, you know, I do it with a brush and it never looks streaky. I kind of feel like I never have to, I mean, I always blend it out, but I feel like it never leaves me with harsh lines. It just blends so flawlessly and like you see you're getting you know the bronzy color being added to like your face but it just kind of like you know shows like just very lightly you can definitely blend it in so nicely and you can just add the color little by little as you go and it just looks so beautiful and so natural so i'm really really enjoying it and i really i mean i recommend it but it's just so pricey so there are other bronzers out there that you can definitely get that are really really great but they're not great as this because this is such a good bronzer and I was so impressed and it's the one that I've been using every single day since I filmed that haul video so that one I really did have to mention because it's like a product that I have become obsessed with so fast from origins I'm enjoying this ginger souffle body cream the ginger line is definitely my favorite line from the origins brand and this body cream it is like it is really like, look at that, just like when you take off the cover, look at that, how nice and luxurious this cream looks in this packaging and it just smells so good. This is the best when getting out of the shower and just lathering this cream all over your body. It just smells so good and I have been really enjoying it. I have it right there next to my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I've mentioned this before, I'm more into oils. I'm really picky with the creams, with the body creams, but that one I love. Kopari, I have been using this coconut melt, which I have been enjoying, but for my nails. I have been pretty much, I dip my finger in here and just rub it on my cuticles. I have had, I always have really dry cuticles, and whenever I go do my nails, they're always like, Aaron's cuticles are extremely dry. But lately, I've been told that they were actually doing really well and that my cuticles had like completely improved and it is because of this it's because of the Kopari coconut melt this is the smaller size 
This is a 2.5 fluid ounces that I just kind of bought to test it out. This is what it looks like in the inside. It's just like a white product. It looks pretty solid, you know, it's right there. It looks solid, but then yeah, it is, Um, you feel like the oil. Now, I can't get past the smell. I don't like the way this smells. I'm not a fan of the way that the coconut oil smells. Um, so I don't apply it to my body. I only use this on my hands and on my nails just because they get so dry. It does a, such a good job in keeping my hands and my cuticles hydrated. It probably would do wonders to my body and I know my best friend now even puts it on her face and she like loves it, but I can't get past the smell. I think it smells terrible. Um, but it is a good product, but I just cannot see myself putting this all over my body. But I will continue using it on my cuticles. I think I mentioned this in the haul video. Like I'm really picky with scents. I won't wear a crap I won't wear a product that's crappy for you just because it smells good, but I also won't wear a product that's good for you if it smells bad. So I'm just extremely picky with that, and um that's why this I only use on my hands and cuticles, but it, it's been working wonders. So it's a really great product. So for this month, I wanted to share with you guys my four favorite Baba Boom holiday lip colors, just because now is when I get a little bit more motivated to use the colors that I don't normally use. And I wanna share with you guys the colors that I have really been enjoying. The very first one is from the drugstore, and this is from Milani. It's one of those matte lipsticks. And this is the Matte Confident. And it is just like a really beautiful red color. And I'm not, red is such a classic color. I don't normally use reds, but when I do, they're these. And these are really beautiful. And now for the holiday season, I really you know, like to do a little pop of red on the lips every once in a while. I'll do like the winged eyeliner, very little makeup on my eyes, and just like the red lips. It's actually really fast. So if you really want to do something really quick and you don't want to go through the whole eye makeup, adding a bright pout just makes a nice little look. From Kat Von D, my favorite red liquid lipsticks are these two, and one is called Nosfera 2, and the other one is called Outlaw. Those are the two that I like. Let me show you a swatch. So you see the difference. This one right here is the Nosfera 2 one, if that's how you pronounce it. And then this next one is the Outlaw one, which is also another beautiful, beautiful color. They also have a really pretty one. I think it's called like Santa Sangria, but these are the reds that I like the most because it's truly red, just kind of like my nails. I like real reds. I don't like it when they look orangey. And then there's this plummy color that I have really been loving. As a gloss it's called dominatrix from Laura it is the alter ego lip gloss and this is one that actually it's like really dark but then it's also a little bit sheer at the same time on the lips and it's like a plummy color and that is this one right here so these are pretty much I know they're four but this is like the one time of the year that I like to bust out these colors because I never do and these are the four that I have really been enjoying and that I have been, you know, using a lot this month and that I probably will continue to use throughout the holidays in the month of December, maybe even January. Um, and let's see which other ones I find, but really great lip products. Now for my non-beauty favorite product of the month, that is my Louis Vuitton handbag. This is the Speedy Bandolier in the Damier Event color, which is the darker squares, the ones that are the lighter ones that are like the white is the azure. And I have really been enjoying this bag. I think the Speedy Bandolier, I mean the Speedy Bandolier is definitely my favorite Louis Vuitton style bag. It's my favorite style. It's the one that I think is the most convenient for me. It's how I like to use my bags. I always like the option of wearing it crossbody, which I do a lot. I actually, I know a lot of people sometimes they say that they don't get it because they don't really use the crossbody, but I really do. And then I also use the handles a lot. So I get good use out of both ways and I always leave it on. But it is just such a great bag. Now, I was so excited to, you know, get the bag out and, um, you know, use it throughout the fall months and for the winter because I wanted something dark. I was just, before this, I was using the light one, the, the Damier Azure. And I think the Damier Azure even 
I think I like that print even better than this one, the lighter color. But I have to say that now this has become my favorite because it just doesn't stain at all. It looks like it's brand new. I love it just because I've already been using it and abusing it every single day already for the past couple months. And it looks brand new. Whereas my Damier Azure one, you can already see that it will get a little bit dirty, it will get a little blue with the jeans, which I knew that was gonna happen because I've had another one of the Damier ones in the light colors and it's just like inevitable. You can take really good care of it, but it'll always get a little bit dirty. Also the handles are the lighter leather, you know, like the very light tan leather. So the handles get easily dirty and this is like the dark brown. So if it's dirty, you can't see it. So I've never had a handbag in this print and I was just so impressed. I mean, obviously my number one favorite is a Speedy Bondolier one in the black, the monogram on prompt. That's the best one and that one's black. So that one, it just lasts, it just looks brand new every single day, even though I had used that bag already for so many months. I love it. But just the fact that this one is dark, now I really recommend this print a lot. Even in the Neverfull they have it. Um, that's also a really good one to have because I have the Neverfull in the Azure and it's already getting a little bit dirty and the straps are already getting a lot darker. So just the fact that this has the darker straps and that it's the darker canvas, it just makes it last so much and it just looks like it's brand, brand new. Like I have already been using this so long. It also fits so much. Oh, by the way, this is a Speedy Bandolier 30. It's a size 30. It is red on the inside, you know, and it just it has pretty much nothing. It's just like a huge bag and it just has like one pocket right here and the rest is just like open. So it just has one pocket but a lot fits in here and it is just like a really comfortable bag. So highly recommend it. I love the Speedy Bandolier in the 30. I think that's a perfect size for me, but if I had to pick, I mean, obviously the monogram on prompt, like I said, is my favorite, but it's like a lot more expensive from the regular canvas prints. This one is a one that I think would last the longest and that I think it would just look the newest for like many, many years to come because I really just don't see how this can get, you know, damaged unless like you like perforate it with like scissors or something. But other than that, just from daily use, I feel like the wear and tear is almost not even noticeable. So now for the contents of my Ipsy Glam Bag and my Boxy Charm. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of November. And the products that it came with were from Bang Beauty, a lip gloss. It's like this peachy color. Kind of like a corally color. It also has this mud masky pore refining, hydrating, anti-aging, brightening, smoothing, facial detox, purifying, recovery mask. So this is a little mask, which I'm excited to test out because I really love um, mud masks. I can't even see it's so small. Clark's Botanicals, could it be? Deep Moisture Mask. So this is what it looks like. And let's see what this mask, it's just like a white mask. It just, it looks like a cream. It says, okay, you can apply it as a mask or as a moisturizer, but it's called Deep Moisture Mask. I feel like it's more like a lotion. Touch in Soul, as in sun, soul, S-O-L. Um, it says liquid foundation for moisture and nourishing skin. It has SPF 30, advanced real moisture. It's in the shade Natural Beige. This is what this one looks like. Can you see it there? That's a color right there. And from Tarte, it came with this Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Feisty. And that is what it looks like. So that is Feisty. Excited about this Amazonian Clay. I like this. And from Boxy Charm, the items I got in my Boxy Charm were the very first one from Cover FX, the Illuminating Setting Spray. So love the fact that I got this size of a setting spray. Let's see what this smells like. Hmm. The spray is not the best. Like the mist. Like you really have to wrestle with it to get it down, but let's keep on testing this out. From the brand Luxie, it came with a quad eye travel set. 
So let's see what these little brushes look like. Oh my God, this is so cute. Cute little makeup brushes, like for travel. I love this. That is a really cute little gift. I can totally see myself using this. They're so cute. Three KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Mask. I have never used a lip mask before, but now I will. So that is what the lip mask looks like. It came with, is it, is it Laga Cloud Lips? Oh, this is a nice little plummy color for the lips. I kind of like it. I was just talking about my holiday lipsticks. This could be another one to try. I like this dark color. It's like, kind of, I kind of like it a lot. Never heard of this brand. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I'll make sure to list everything down below. I'll find out how you really, how you, what the brand is. It just looks, look how it's written. So I can't really tell if it's Laga, Laga. I have no idea. And the last gift I got is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. It is this palette that looks like this. It says the perfect palette for prowling about. Ooh. And this is what the palette looks like. So excited about this. Oh, excited about this gold color. Hmm. It's like a bronzy color. I like that. Let me swatch. Oh, this is like kind of iridescent. I'm not into the whole iridescent type of things. Let me test out this brown. It's like a matte. That looks like a good color. That's an iridescent one. I'm not into iridescent eyeshadows or iridescent anything. Nail polishes, lipstick, and nothing. But this looks like a cute little palette. This is the color I'm most excited about. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my November favorites, Ipsy Glam Bag and Boxy Charm. As always, I will list everything in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.